just got home. What is this? What is this? A big old box from Tiny Machines. Let's check it out. Hey you guys, Uncle Jesse here. I am extremely excited about this package. Chris from Tiny Machines got a hold of me thanks to Preston over at Press Reset. I've got links down below to Preston's channel. Make sure to check him out. And uh, wanted me to check out the CR10 S4 3D printer. So this will be an unboxing and assembly of that printer and I'm gonna get it up and running and over the next handful of days, I'm gonna start getting some large, large prints going on this massive machine. If you're familiar with some of the most recent videos that I've been shooting, I've been using the CR10, that's the stock machine there, that has a 12 by 12 by, I think 16 build volume or 15 build volume, so pretty large. This is its bigger sibling. It allows you to do 16 by 16 by 16 inches. Uh, whatever that is in millimeters, sorry folks, I don't know, I'm here in the States and I go by inches. Everybody needs to go by inches. And it's also a little late in the evening and I've had an extremely long week of work, but extremely excited. Uh, there's a few extremelys here, by the way, uh, to get this unboxed. So let's get it going. So uh, here's a little, first off, uh, once this is open, and by the way, I haven't really unboxed this at all. I just opened it up to make sure everything was here and nothing rattling around, more or less. Um, so here is a quick note from Chris. So I hope you enjoy the CR10 S4 as much as we do ours. We've included our latest firmware version and updated wide belt bracket. Stay tuned for some of the hot, uh, the hot in upgrades and dual Z conversion kit and auto leveling. Very excited about that potential there, auto leveling. Uh, when we have our filament, you will also be getting some of that too. Follow us on Facebook, Tiny Machines 3D for updates. By the way, I'll have links down below to Tiny Machines, the website, as well as his Facebook group. He's all over the CR10 Facebook group and lots of people ordering from him. Uh, if you're here stateside, what he does is order directly his machines from Creality, who are the creators of the CR10 machines, and has them sent to him over in Texas. He tests them, inspects them, does all sorts of good stuff to make sure that they're up and running properly before sending them out to you, the buyer. It helps cut down on a lot of the issues that people are receiving when ordering from other vendors that are out there. So nonetheless, let's get this going. Uh, also, here's just a general note. Uh, there are videos at the bottom of the page on their website. Uh, also, make sure to explore the SD card for the software and slicer profiles. So uh, also, there's a model on the card. I think that's sort of the, the standard procedure. So I'm gonna get this undone. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is, uh, since I don't have a lot of space, the box is so big and my space here is not as uh, well put together as I'd like for this, I'm just going to quickly unbox this, lay everything out on the table, and we'll be back in two seconds. All right, here is a quick look at everything that comes with the CR10 S4. It's pretty typical if you already own a CR10, uh, everything's just a little bit larger, I should say the frame is. So here are the same quality instructions on how to assemble everything. Here is uh, some parts uh, piece checklist from Creality. Uh, this is the control unit and all of the cables that are already connected there. Should be pretty easy to plug and play to get everything set up. Uh, I, I've already removed the um, packing material for the glass. Uh, some clips, here is the frame, part of the frame here for the bed. Also here is the tiny machine uh, inspection list. So what's really cool is so everything's dated, um, includes what model this was tested against and all of the different tests that were run through. So power supply, in stops are working, steppers are working, fans are working, uh, the heated bed is working and how long it took to actually heat up. The nozzle, how long that took to heat up and is working. The SD card uh, tested five times. Uh, you know, injecting in and out five times. Actually, the CR10 that I have, that's probably one of my complaints about the machine is the SD card slot, and I have purchased a, um, a, a micro SD expansion thing. I'll show that to you guys here once I get this up and running. 
Uh, the USB works, the platform is aligned, the build platform is aligned, wheels check loosened for shipping. So this is all things that I need to tighten up. Uh, USB cable included and power cable included since I'm here stateside. Uh, so here are all of the other things. So this is the stuff that you typically get. Here is the USB cable with micro SD card. Uh, here are the brackets and end stops. Here is the test spool of filament. Here are some tools. I love these little snipper things, little filament snipper tool there. It's a perfect. Here is a USB cable that you can use to connect to your printer. Uh, filament guide. Here is the larger bracket that will go on top of the printer. Here are some additional parts, bolts that I'll be using to hook everything up together. Some tape for printing with on the bed. My power cable here is a... Uh, this is a filament unclogger, extruder unclogger type tool that you can use so far on my CR10. I've had no clogs, so very lucky with that. Here is a spatula to remove your prints. Uh, here is some sort of guarantee card. I'll probably just garbage that. Actually, mentioning the guarantee, <laughs> um, Chris from Tiny Machines is excellent. One of the nice things about his guarantee is that he provides excellent support. Uh, oh, just based on everything that's been posted over on the Facebook group, the folks stating if there's any issues, you can reach out to them and he has replacement parts for all of the machines that he sells, as well as uh, will assist you with if anything came broken or damaged or anything like that. Uh, and this is this filament tube holder. Filament tube holder? Oh, I'll have to find a better name when I go through this again. <laughs> but All right, it's time to get this thing assembled. I'm gonna set up the camera and get it all put together. All right, for this next part, I'm gonna assemble the frame together. And to do this, I'm actually gonna steal something that I saw on Chris's assembly video for the CR10, which is you prop up the lower half of the printer on some boxes or whatever it may be. You basically want to have these holes on either side available to you because I'm gonna be inserting some screws on the bottom side and assembling the upper frame on top of it. You'll see here and it'll make a little bit more sense in a second. Here's the piece with the end stop, the little mechanical piece on the end. You're gonna stick it in the side brackets there and bolt them in. More than likely, you have a zip tie in place here that's holding the uh, extruder bracket here from moving while it was shipping, you want to clip that free and remove that. All right, so now I'm just gonna uh, uh, wire everything up here. So just basically uh, matching each of these up with the proper components. So this is the E, this cable has an E and two X cables here. So here is the X axis. And you basically just plug those in and it's that easy. So there is that, that's assembled. Here is the, this, this back here is the Y. And here is the Z axis. Easy enough, I'm just gonna make sure that all the cables are not doing this. Okay, quick note while you're wiring your cables, um, make sure that when you wire this, they're not snagged together. Uh, I want this to be completely free of the other so that it doesn't cause any issues when this axis moves, when the Z axis moves. All wired up. Pretty much ready to go. Gonna assemble the spool holder here real quick. All right, let me plug in the connectors as well. I'm telling you, the, <laughs> the CR10 machines make it so easy for you to set these up 
um, and get up and running. Very, very minimal work that you have to put it on this. Also, if you're here in the US, you wanna make sure that the box here, the control box is set to 110 volts. Since Chris is running some tests before he sends those out, more than likely that is already gonna be set to 110 volts for you. All right, just gonna assemble the filament holder here. Just uh, take these little bar parts, take the metal bracket and screw it in. All right, and the spool holder, you just unscrew the two parts, stick one end on this side, screw this in on this side, and screw it together. All right, let's fire it up and see if it works. It's alive. Oh, nice. It's got its own little custom firmware in there from Tiny Machines. This is excellent. All right, so now that I have the printer all assembled and ready to go, I'm gonna fire up a test print or two and get those running, and then I'll be giving you guys some feedback, but that'll more than likely be another video. And this one, I just wanted to really focus on an unboxing and setup, and uh, just give you guys a quick comparison between the CR10 and the S4. So here is the CR10 sitting right next to this bad boy, and the main difference here is the build volume. So the CR10 is 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters, the CR10 S4 is 400 millimeters by 400 by 400. So pretty significant size difference. Other than that, everything's pretty much the same. The boxes are the same as well. Uh, I should mention that Chris does have the option, if you're interested in putting in a custom set of firmware on the machine, he can do that as well. It is much easier to operate than the stock software that comes with the CR10 or the S4 or the S5. Um, I'm just really loving it. That's probably my biggest complaint with the CR10 was the controls and just the menu options. It just really wasn't that intuitive to me. And this is a huge, huge improvement and it's, uh, I believe, a free option when you order from, from him. So again, if you're interested in picking up a machine from Tiny Machines, I've got links down below where you can check it out. And I will be printing out some new projects here in the upcoming days and sharing those with you guys very soon. Hey, thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now.